Hi, I'm Michael Barreto, and my discourse community I'm going to be discussing today is Calvary Christian Academy's own African Cultural Club. Now, what is a discourse community? A discourse community is a community of people who come together and have a specific goal. They use intercommunication to execute their goal, and they communicate together in various different ways, and they make sure that they have specific lingo so when they communicate they have something that's unique to the group so they stand out among others and it meets all of swell's six characteristics of what makes up a discourse community in different to other communities like a speech community now my discourse community the african cultural club at my high school calvary christian academy is very different from many other clubs and I would consider it a discourse community because our common goals, we all have one common goal and it's to execute a plan to get other people aware of what Africa is, what it's about, what the culture is, what languages do people speak, the lifestyle, and to not stereotype Africa as a place that's full of dirt and sand and poverty and war and drugs and disease and that's not what Africa is. Africa is something completely different. The culture is very vibrant. There are a lot of beautiful places and the danger is of one story of someone tells what Africa is can define the definition for everyone. And our common goal is to be recognized is this is who we are. This is what our country is. Just like many other cultures have been embraced here in the United States, like Hispanic and European cultures, but for some reason, African culture is one of the things that lacks severely here. And we try to start a movement to embrace other cultures and include ourselves in it. Now for intercommunication, we have parties, meetings, we have these little things at uh, some of our African, are actually African members. Uh, we go to their houses and we cook food, we make a buffet, and we bring African dishes to indulge in the culture. Um, my father is from Nigeria, and I, I've had uh, many people over here. My father cooks, I help cook, he speaks. We get um, the African community to have a voice, and uh, we communicate through that. Uh, we show videos and different forms of media. For Alexis, we do have members uh, at a lower position and we do have captains. We do separate uh, each group by country. So for our West African side, we have Nigeria, Ghana, and Angola. And we have a s couple South American students, uh, not necessarily black, they are white as well. Um, we have one Ethiopian girl and two South Sudan, two kids from South Sudan. So we break up the groups. By that and people who are not culturally aware of what Africa is all about we indulge them in each group and we take them through activities for each group to experience and know what is every different country now our genres of discourse are uh, different types of media we're talking about Nollywood movies Nollywood is Hollywood in Africa basically um, Afro beats which is African music and it's contemporary and modern, uh, nothing tribal what people expect, different speeches from Chinua Chibi, books, uh, summaries, movies, like I said it before, and just anything that has to do with modern media to help bring the Western culture to try and engage in what our culture is all about. Now, for our communication as a group, we do mix up a little bit of languages and we do like to teach others the slang of each different dialect, such as Igbo, Yoruba, Ido, Ijao, Igala, and other broken English languages within the West African continent. So people can have something to say and, and you know, learn the gyron and the slang that, that we do speak within ourselves. Now, when it comes to writing and how we execute our goal with writing is that we write speeches uh, for 
the club and we talk about what we went through the week. We only have two meetings a week and it's either during lunch or at a friend's house or something. And then we would also discuss the book, All Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. And we would talk about um, the, uh, what different things that uh, and different key points that, that Achebe talked about uh, in the book, different types of manuscripts and proverbs, like African proverbs we call them, which are pieces of wisdom from wise men in different tribes and regions and such. And we would use those written forms of discourse to communicate and execute our goals as a discourse community.